Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Goodwill Outlet Bins thrift haul. Here we go. Hello you all, I hope you're doing well. Happy New Year. I am going to show you a good old fashioned Goodwill Outlet Bins thrift haul today. I did two trips to the bins recently. One I did not film, that's what I'm going to show you today. And then Chris and I went back and, over the vacation and we thrifted together and I did do some filming there, so that'll be coming. But today's does not have footage. I'm just gonna show you what I found. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So again, the, bin, the bins have been kind of uh, not great at my bins recently, but uh, you know, I still found some stuff. So I found a bunch of jewelry and some of it I'm gonna keep, some of it I'm gonna sell. I don't know, I picked it up because I found it, but this is uh, a Myrtle Wood necklace, genuine Oregon. So I thought that was pretty. I don't know if I'll keep it or if I'll sell it, but I didn't want to leave it for the garbage. These I will probably sell. I'm not into like beads, but these kind of things sell at the Pink Elephant. The Pink Elephant is where I have a vintage booth. And so that's where I will put anything that I sell. I do not sell online. I know sometimes some of you ask, but I really don't like to ship stuff. I've done it, didn't like it, not fun. Not gonna do it. <laughs> Love this. Not my style, but I think someone will like it. So that will probably go to the shop. And then plain black beads. Those are kind of pretty. I might hold on to those. And a shell necklace. So these are all kind of in the bottom of a bin. I think that was, oh, there is this. This I got, I will probably hang this in my garden. It's like a, I don't know what it's meant for, but I think it'll be pretty. I like to hang things like this in the garden. You know, it's eye-catching, keeps the birds out of my uh, seeds. <laughs> I did find, these are vintage shoe clips. Like you would put them on the fronts of your shoes. I remember using these when I was a kid, to, like dress up my Sunday shoes. So I will probably put these in the shop, vintage shoe clips. Okay, and then I've been picking up some things just to make magnets because I made some vintage domino magnets and some of those have sold. So I'm gonna try making other magnets. So I found a Thomas the Tank Engine. I don't think it's worth anything. It's from the 2000s. So yeah, it's 2013, so it's modern. So I'm just gonna stick a magnet on that and see. Like, I just, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool for someone who's like a Thomas the Tank Engine fan. So that's one I'm gonna do. And then a little googly eye magnet I thought would be cute. The pink elephant, the market there is kind of like quirky. So it's not things that I would necessarily keep in my house, but it's like a quirky, younger, um, kind of hipster market. So funky things sell well. I picked this up because I thought it was pretty. I'm just gonna put this in my Christmas jewelry collection. So you can put it on your coat. I'll put it on my coat probably next year. I did pick up a bunch of vintage bulbs because I saw on Instagram, someone makes wreaths out of these, so. I'm just going to collect them as I find them, and maybe I'll collect enough to make a wreath. So I think that would be kind of cool. Okay. Oh, also found, here's another necklace. This is pretty. I think the beads might come off black, but they're actually like a deep purple. So I thought that was really pretty. And what else? And I found some Christmas tags. That's just for our Christmas wrapping. Okay. Pick this up. I always pick up reusable bags when I find them. I think this one is handmade. So it's like a, what is that called? Toile, is that what that's called? And it has this nice little button. It's extremely clean. Like it does not look like it was used, but it does look like maybe it was handmade and it closes. I thought it was cute. I'll give it a washing and see how it washes up and then decide what to do with it. Okay, I got some cool stuff for my Christmas decor. There is another one of these somewhere. I don't know if you remember, I bought one of these at a thrift store this year. I'll probably take off the puffy, I'm not into the, the puffy eyeballs and nose, but I have one and they're like different size. I think the one I have is a little larger. And then I found a smaller one. I'm sure it'll, it's in one of the bags here somewhere. So that'll go with my Christmas decor for next year. Picked up a milk glass vase. I will just put this in my stash. I use these, sometimes I use them to hold candles as a candlescape, and sometimes I use them for flowers. You could just put, you know, bud flowers in them or whatever. 
You could do a vignette with those. So I just pick them up when I see ones that I don't have. These are cool. These are going to the shop. They are old mitts, catching mitts. So cute. So really nicely oiled and well loved and used. Um, so I think those are cool. I can't read. This one says Jerry Coleman is the signature. There's no brand on it, but I think those will be cool. And then this one says USA, made in the USA, nylon stitched. I can't, I don't see a brand. Oh, wait. It says Harmon Killebrew autograph model. Wilson. This is a Wilson mitt. So I don't know. These are kind of cool. And I have seen things like this sell. So they're both for a righty. I know that. I did play softball a little bit. Okay. I got this for the shop just for like displaying stuff. And sometimes Chris, I'll like we'll put books in here or comic books or whatever. It's just a good size basket for the shop and really cheap at the Goodwill Outlands. Oh, by the way, I think I spent $40 on this day, though, which is kind of a lot for me, but yeah, no. Got some books. This I thought was so cool. McFadden's Encyclopedia of Physical Culture. And it was published in 1920 by Bernard McFadden. And it has like diagrams and pictures. Well, now I'm not being able to find them. Oh, wait, there's pictures. The upper photograph shows Mrs. Farrar, whose experience with the fasting cure is described on page 1322, a helpless paralytic. The lower photograph to the right shows Mrs. Farrar as she appeared after three months application of physicultopathic methods. Not that I would take medical advice from these, but it's cool to see what they thought might work to heal ailments. So, so that was cool. And got this one, The Deadly Friend. Dun, dun, dun. And it says, it's a detective book club book. Detective book club. Printed in the United States. Copyright 1961. So I just like vintage books. That was cool. There's one more vintage book. Harvard Classics Sacred Writings. This one I'll probably keep in my own stash for decor. Whoa, I almost dropped it. This one is... Um, hold on. Oh, I love when they have that like thin paper in the front. And this one is from... Oh my goodness, I can't find... Here we go. Copyright... 1910 for this version. It was originally 1890, then 1885, and then 1910. Uh, yeah. So, oh, that was cool. And I got this. This is a really fun game. Say anything. It's brand new. Goodwill has it had it at $6.99. I'm gonna ask. Wow. I'm gonna ask my children if anyone wants this because we have one ver one copy of it, and I think Maddie has it at her apartment. So if anyone wants this to take to college. I will give it to them. Otherwise, we'll just keep it here. It's my other bag. Oh, this is cool. So I love vintage clipboards. They're fun in decor. This one says national. And yeah, so it's just cool. It's got some wear and tear on it, which I like. But then the reason I like them is you can kind of put cool like music on them. I got this idea from Sweet and Simple Home. She started putting up videos again. You should go find her if you're not familiar with her. Her name's Rachel, lovely person, but she always does this. She puts like vintage music on a clipboard and this music I think is from the 20s. So that's pretty cool. Ah, got this. This, I love these little copper molds. I have one that's a chicken, which I adore. I don't love grapes, but I think I'm going to keep it just because it's the kind, see, the other one I have is similar uh, because it has this like brass handles on it and then the copper, which I just think is really neat. I think I'm going to hold on to it for now and hang it in my kitchen and I can always sell it if I change my mind, but it's in really good shape. So, and oh, here's the other one. So now you can see. So it's actually a littler person, a little person, a littler reindeer. This one also has the fuzzy ball eyes. Maybe I'll leave them, why not? My other one does not have that, but I think they're really cute. And so now I have three to make a little grouping. Um, I picked this up, a little strawberry shortcake. 
that's always what she looked like. Like it looks like, oh, is she, you know, like her hair is doing funny things. No, I just remember even the ones I had, they always looked a little funny like this. She would have smelled like strawberry. This one does not smell like strawberry, but I picked her up just because I remember this so clearly from my childhood. I'm pretty sure this is like the same one that I had. I see that there's a mark. I can't tell what it says, but anyway, you get the gist. This is definitely from like the eighties. Okay. I picked this up. Love it. It's, I think it's, what is that? Acacia wood or monkey wood. Um, and I just really like it. Like this was probably a tray for a man's dresser. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll stick it on Chris's dresser if he needs that. Otherwise I could just use it in displays. I just thought it was pretty. No mark on that. And I got some stamps just to put in my craft stash. Little letter stamps. Those are cute to use for projects. <gasps> I got this. Oh, I really like him. St. Nicholas. It's just a keepsake, you know, a Hallmark ornament, keepsake ornament. But I think he's really cute. I like him. Kind of different. I'll probably put him on my tree. Because I like him. I don't know why I'm shaking. I had an espresso today and now I'm kind of shaking. <laughs> What else is in my bag? Oh, this I got for the shop. I no, maybe uh I can't remember if I was gonna keep this or put it in the shop. Things like this do sell. This is not like I can't tell. This might be hand done actually. It looks kind of like it down here. It does not look mass produced. I mean it's not stitched, but they might have bought like tapestry fabric and created this out of it. I don't know. I thought it was pretty. I don't know if I'll keep this or sell it. I haven't decided, but I didn't want to leave it. And, oh, okay. This I got for a DIY collab I'm doing at the end of the month. It says, Fit, file, f wow, flies and tackle fishing facts. And it's just like a little book set. So I'm going to do something with this for a DIY project. And I got a bunch of linens. I just love to find linens. So sort these out. Um, I picked this up because I could not bear the thought of this going to the landfill. It is a hand stitched, I'll show you in a second, a hand stitched very large tablecloth. And so I think it's a repeating pattern. Yeah, it looks like it. Repeating pattern, but it is very, very long. And I don't know if I'll ever use it. I don't really sell tablecloths. Like they haven't sold for me at the pink elephant it has some stains but i just didn't want it i don't know it's just so much work you know so i'll figure out something to do with this even if i like cut it up and do like make pillows out of it or something i don't know i don't know i just didn't want it i can at least find a way to preserve some of the the work that was put into this because i didn't want it to go i'm gonna put it right in the wash with my little twall bag okay I got this set of, I don't really know what they're for. Are they like coasters? I'm not really sure, but there were several of them. And, or someone was originally selling them for $6 for the set, but I don't know what they're for. So you can tell me what you think. You think they're coasters, but they're all the same. And they're just cloth. I'll put a few dollars on them. And then I got a bunch of vintage hankies. Hankies sell extremely well for me at the Pink Elephant. Uh, I sell them for about two to three dollars a piece and people just snap them up. I don't know if it's the same person that comes back, but this one says Della on it. I don't know if that's the person's name. Really pretty edge. And then this was kind of different. This brown, the lacy edge. That one I might keep. I like it because it's brown and different. You don't find brown very often, you know? And then there's this one, which has a pretty edge. This one was never used. Still has its tag on it, so that's cool. And this one is also brand new. It has a butterfly. Butterfly motif. Here we go. Pretty, pretty. And then here's a tan one, which was kind of neat. I might keep that one too. I'm into tans and browns. I don't know. I keep those two. And this one is, uh, I don't know what this is supposed to be. Some kind of scarf? Is it? This might be like a dresser scarf. It's kind of large. But it has a really pretty 
applique kind of on it. Is that applique? Embroidery? Embroidery. That was pretty. It's pretty tiny big. So I don't think that's a hanky. I think it's like a dresser scarf or just a scarf. I don't really know, but I'll put that in with the things for the same price. And it'll be fine. This one's really cool. Really pretty. They had a price tag on $2 on this one. Oh, don't rip, don't rip. Okay. That was pretty. Stitched all around. I really like that. This, I think, is a men's handkerchief. So that was cool. And then a bunch of these little doodads. Again, don't know what they're for. These I will probably keep in my craft stash. Are those also coasters? I don't really know, but there's four of them. So, okay, so that is it. That is my bins haul. Oh wait, that is not it. Hold on a second. There's two other big things and I can't believe I almost forgot to show them. Hold on a second. Okay, the two things I almost forgot are kind of, they, okay, so if things are over four pounds, they'll charge you $2. Otherwise they charge you by the pound. So I paid probably like five bucks for this first one because it wasn't quite four pounds. Oh, well, um, but I think it's gorgeous. It's this huge and smells very fresh. The person clearly washed it before they donated it. It's a quilt and it's hand done. I mean, I don't think, I think it's probably machine quilted, but you know, it's hand pieced. Sorry, scented laundry detergent sometimes gets my allergies going. But look at this, like, it's got little angels applique on it. And then some of the squares have, like, printed fabric. I mean, this thing is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So I am going to wash it anyway and put it in Maddie's room because I have, like, pinks and blues in there. And I think it'll be just beautiful. It's actually, like, too big for her bed because her bed is a twin. But I don't care. I just was not going to have this go... To the landfill it just that is was not happening so i got that one and then i got another one i love cow prints and farm prints and i do believe that this one is also hand hand pieced at least because the ones you get like that are fake quilts are usually printed on but this is like pieced together so you can see actually it smells the same so i wonder if they came from the same house but i don't know if it was a quilter or what um, but I just love the farm print. I think it's so cute. So I'll just, I don't know where I'm going to keep it. Like maybe just in a, I don't know. I don't even know, but there was no way I was letting a quilt go to the landfill. It's just not happening on my watch, right? Anyway. Okay. So that's it. That's all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this bins haul and thank you so much for watching. Have a great new year. Please stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.